Hello friends, this is your brother CJ. Uh, I'm excited uh, to be joining you here. Today I want to talk to you about the five P's for growing business. Now I don't call yours a small business. I call it a growing business because that's what you are. You are growing, right? So here are the five. Number one, process. Number two, people. Number three, profit. Number four, predictability. Number five, payoff. And I'm gonna go one by one. Number one, for your process. You need to create a process for everything that you do in your business so that you will not rely on specific people, but on a process that you can easily and quickly teach people how to redo. McDonald's restaurant can literally employ anyone off the street and teach that person a process of how to make and distribute their product. What you need to do is to make your product, your process very standard, which makes it easy and it saves you a lot of time. You need to try out your processes, find out the best way to do it, and then rinse and repeat and make money with it. Number two, people. You need people who have a buy-in in your vision for the business. Sometimes that's just one person, and that person is you. You need to come to agreement with yourself that what you want to do is really what you want to do. People would join a confident visionary. Jeff Bezos says that be stubborn in your vision, but be flexible in your details. Every vision starts with one man, so become that one man. Lay down your vision, lay down your values, your direction, and establish yourself as a person of good character with following. And then the followers who are like-minded will find you. Don't try to seek out followers. Be a leader, and a leader will always have followers because followers will find the leader. Number three, profit. Business is too hard to do business just to do business. Business must be done to be very profitable. That means you must choose a business model that sells premium offers, because that way it takes less effort to make profit. If your market sells houses for 250,000 each, you have to sell yours at $1 million a house. That way, it takes only one of your sales to someone else's four sales to make the same amount. The second thing I say is sell to rich people. People who are rich are not time wasters. They know what they want. One time I saw a video of Michael Jackson shopping and they closed the shopping mall so that he could buy what he needed. And he would just signal with his face, with his hands behind his back, literally signal with his face what he was buying, which was millions of dollars worth of art. He wasn't even checking the price tag. That's who you sell to if you want to make money. See, I made up my mind right then when I was watching MJ. I said, I'm only gonna sell to the rich, right? Number four, predictability. Don't do guesswork when it comes to launching your business or new products. Go to your audience and research through, through surveys if your product is hot. And if they say why it can't work, really pay attention to that and fix that issue because fixing that means that you are covering every objection and why they wouldn't buy it. If you want people to trust your product and to trust you, make your product customized to them. That way it becomes predictable because it's something that they wanted, something that they desired. Number five, the payoff. People only buy if what they will get from you will fix their problems. And I mean fast and efficiently. They're only interested in the payoff. Not how hard you work to get them to pay off. When you make your payoff offer to someone, if they don't say, I really want that, then it's not a payoff, but it's a process. They don't care about your process. How do you get to understand the payoff that they desire? Well, you have to custom make it. And how do you do that? You do that by asking questions. Questions are the answer to a payoff. The better you are at asking questions and really listening to the answer, the better you can set an intention of fulfilling the desire to those questions. They will tell you all the answers that will make them say yes to your offer. So don't just ask what you think is the right question, but always ask what is called a clarifying question because a confused customer never buys. Assume that they don't understand what you mean so that you are clear about what your offer is. Also assume that you don't understand what they mean until you become very clear and then package your offer with only the things that they want and you will have a very high success rate every time you make an offer. So those are the five P's. I hope that they help. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. It's your brother, CJ. I'll see you again tomorrow.